Tonight, we're going to tackle the frankly massive question of big data, key to the future, or the end of privacy. And I think this question of what big data is for and how we will uh, sustain and secure public trust in it is uh, really at the heart of how we build the digital economy of the future. Yes, of course, big data is a key to the future. It's in fact already a key to the present. I think you've got over six million people in Europe who work directly for the information economy one way or another. It affects roughly 3% of the EU's GDP. So let's start um, by proposing the motion, Linnet. So I think it's important to come up with some ideas on how to do no harm rather than how to preserve privacy. Data is the best thing that we've got going in society to help us with our problems. And I think that one conclusion for me comes out of this is that group privacy is the next direction to go. When you think about group privacy, do you lose individual privacy? Is it a either or? Is it a both and? And what does it mean? How can we attack that question intelligently and in debate between equals and between those who are really informed? I think that not using data is the moral equivalent of burning books. I think that technology, uh, just because certain perspectives are, technologically speaking, available, should not dictate the solutions and, and, and the values. So it's a, an interaction and therefore we have to work together. If we are coming to data protection and, and privacy protection, so um, I would say we haven't uh, really taken the chance in doing the best out of the um, general data protection the regulation. We know that data doubles at a rate that is quite fascinating. So every 12 months, the amount of digitally stored data doubles, which is breathtaking if you stop to think about it. You get into data analytics that people can't understand, algorithms that people can't understand, that can't, they can't guess at, and you end up with vast amounts of power and questionable levels of accountability. And that's a big challenge for, for society. At the moment, both technically and legally, we spend 80% of the time trying to regulate and mitigate the data collection and 20% on the use. And I think in the world of big data, we're going to need to revert that. It's about helping in the enforcement to better understand what the underlying principles are. That's what regulators should do. This is a complex area and the best chance you've got of finding the right balance between, you know, what's technically possible, what's legally permissible, and what is acceptable to civil society, the best chance of finding that balance is in a dialogue and in building the right kind of ecosystems.